This video continues the evolution of the Kronos controller. I'll show you the changes I've made to the design and conduct some tests with it. Thanks to your feedback, the custom mouse has reached a new level. Ergonomics. Many of you mentioned that my first version of the wrist rest might be uncomfortable. I decided to try out your ideas, and the new ergonomic shape turned out to be much better. Now the hand rests in such a way that there's no noticeable pressure at all. Among my friends who tested the mouse, opinions on mobility were divided. Some like the freedom of movement, while others prefer stability. That's no longer an issue. I've added two attachment options, springs for flexibility and pins for stability. Everyone can now customize it to their liking. Another important point is that hand sizes vary. To ensure the mouse suits everyone, I made the wrist rest adjustable in length and added the ability to change the hand's tilt angle relative to the manipulator. This adjustment turned out to be unexpectedly convenient. Versatility Interchangeable Joystick Caps The set now includes four options. Small, for speed, such as in shooters. Large, for precision, such as in 3D applications. Software the device's code is now fully open source. This means that anyone can customize the mouse for their needs or add new features. Everything is as transparent as possible. Materials and reliability. I decided to conduct a material strength test. I was unpleasantly surprised to find that the original material was very brittle. It breaks easily, even under light pressure. I performed a drop test from table height, and as you can see, it didn't pass. I switched to a new material, AnyCubic ABS Lite Pro 2, which is supposed to be more durable. I tested its strength and it's significantly sturdier. It's not easy to damage at all. It also passed the table height drop test twice. The first time I forgot to enable slow motion and for some reason the light turned off. I had to repeat the test. Internal changes. The joystick suspension received a new configuration. Instead of two long rubber bands, I used four shorter ones. This allowed for an even distribution of load and smoother control. Previously, to eliminate cursor jitter when releasing the joystick abruptly, I used a small piece of sponge. Now this task is handled by a software filter that automatically detects and smooths sharp movements. Another improvement is the bottom button. It's now rubberized and much more pleasant to use. Testing in action. Last time, I didn't show how the mouse works in real-world scenarios, but now I'm fixing that. When you tilt the handle, the cursor moves at a steady speed in the chosen direction. Increasing the tilt angle increases the cursor speed. For greater precision, it's better to release the handle when pressing buttons to avoid micro-movements and maintain high accuracy. Simple test in Excel. I'll highlight cells to form a robot face. Three D modeling in Fusion three six zero. Controlling the camera has become easier. I'll perform a simple extrusion operation. Select a plane. In editing mode, choose a rectangle and highlight the area to extrude. Finish editing and select the extrusion tool. Flight Simulator. Precise and smooth control has become a real pleasure. It's now possible to perform aerobatic maneuvers on a Boeing. I even enjoyed piloting the plane, though the passengers might not agree. Here I also attempted an emergency landing. Thank you for your ideas and suggestions. They help make this project better.